Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Today I, I don't want to talk about small trucks or tiny trucks like WPL or Orlando. Today I want to test two new 550 five slot brushed motors I bought recently for my 1 to 10th trucks. That's first the famous Holmes Hobby. Rollmaster Sport 550 12T comes packed only in such a plastic bag and the Surpass Hobby Crawler 5 slot 550 brushed motor that's also a 12T motor it comes packed in such a box with a little bit of foam so better secured both of those motors are brand new never used I only will let them run for about 10 minutes on two two and a half volts in the beginning and I want to do some bench tests and also some indoor tests I do have a not finished really Freeman kit now still in the body has to be mounted and bumpers are missing and I will mount those motors in that's a 1 to 10 more or less SCX 10 2 style truck probably the it's the kit version but probably the most popular and most sold truck here in Austria Germany Switzerland in the year 2019 I guess Americans don't know it because it's not sold there and the Asians only know the Asian version not the kit version only the ready to run version but it's nearly this Asian version is nearly twice as expensive as the Conrad Austria Germany Switzerland Hungary version so I will compare those motors both same specifications both 550 both 12T 12T is equivalent to 1700 kV and what you would know from what you know from brushless motors so 1000 so 1700 uh, turns per volt and the uh, 550 12T 5 slot motor um, it's if you take the normal motors they have 43 turns we all know this is uh, from the speed it's in between 27 turn and 35 turn but the advantage of the 550 motors they are much more powerful they are smoother the advantage of the Holmes Hobbies motor should be better magnets John Holmes says and all in all better I check this because of the plastic bag one of those tabs is bent but not a problem both of those motors are exactly the same price so very exactly the same price both are 20 bucks 20 US dollars or 1999 US dollar motors but price as you know is always relative the Chinese motor you can buy a little bit cheap on Ali and I even paid only 16 15 on Banggood including shipment I used some Banggood points and the Holmes Hobbies motor it's not available now in Europe or um, no shop does have it in stock or did ever have it in stock the 550 5 slot 12, 12 turn motor if it will be available here it will be more expensive anyway but however I bought it from a main hobbies from the US and had to pay for 450 shipping to Austria Europe I won't complain about this but 450 to Europe from the US if I ship this motor within my tiny country Austria shipment will be more expensive however so for me this motor was about 24 and this 16 US dollars so the Holmes Hobbies 
was about 50% more expensive for me and the then the surplus mo motor and the surplus hobby motor was about 30 or more than 30 percent cheaper than the Holmes hobbies for me but if you live in the United States or wherever this could be different calls M20 buck motors and both are really really cheap really well priced of course those are no high-end motors you can buy much much more expensive motors I never do this I always use cheap motors like China motors or those cheap but very very good Trailmaster Sports from Holmes Hobbies that's enough for me I'm not a professional so now let's take a closer look to both motors what we first see is the Holmes Hobbies 550 crawler motor is a sealed can motor so it can't be opened uh, brushes can't be cannot be changed um, However, it's such a cheap motor, I don't think anyone will service his cheap motors. It comes with a ball bearing here on the front side and on the rear or back side it does only have a bushing. And the surplus hobby motor, I guess it has ball bearings on both sides, you can see it can be opened it can be serviced the uh, brushes can be changed whoever will do this i don't know and it comes with wires and plugs and we can change timing and timing should be zero as you can see here if you want to know a little bit more about this timing and all brushed and brushless motors and how they work and uh, how they are constructed I highly recommend to visit the webpage of Holmes Hobbies John Holmes has like this chart here that's his chart that's not mine John Holmes has a lot of information on his website but even more information on his YouTube channel Holmes Hobbies so if you want to learn how motors work, what's timing, uh, what are different magnets, what is 5-pole and what is 3-pole, I really recommend to check his YouTube channel and also his web page. So it looks much nicer built than the Holmes Hobbies motor, what not means that it's a better motor. I watched, I guess, all of Holmes motor YouTube videos and I read his web page and what he says his cheap motor line his budget motor line the difference to the cheap uh, Chinese motors is he uses better magnets what's the most important stuff I am not able to measure Tesla or whatever and I'm not able to open this motor anyway we will see I will do some tests later What's a little bit strange, it's nice that the surface hobby motor does come with wires. Those are 14 cage wires, so totally okay for a 1 to 10 crawler. But they do come with those 3.5 millimeter gold plated plugs. We call them goldies. I do normally really like those plugs. Those are those plugs I use them a lot in small helicopters and also in small cars come on and they are rated for 50 amps continuous what should be sufficient for a crawler we do not need very high amp rating but my problem with those small plugs is that I use in my 1 to 10th cars and all my ESCs I use 4 mm gold plated plugs as most cars in this size do come with those are those plugs and they are rated for 80 amp but 
that's not the most important thing for me. For me, more important is I don't have 1 to 10th cars and 1 to 10th motors and 1 to 10th ESCs or ESCs in 1 to 10th cars with 3.5 millimeter plugs. You can see this on this Hobbywing 1080. I also do have the 4 millimeter plugs and even the very cheap plugs that come with many cars with ready to run sets or even on motors, those you should remove them anyway as soon as possible but even those they are four millimeters so they will work with a four millimeter goldie but they are too large for the 3.5 millimeter plugs so if you do not have any car at home then you can use this and solder the 3.5 millimeter female plugs to your ESC but I will remove those and solder 14 gauge wire with 4 millimeter gold plated plugs to the surface hobby motor and of course to the Holmes Hobbies motor too so that I can swap out motors and ESCs easily. What's very nice in the surface hobby motor is the possibility to change timing but there's the first problem with this motor you see you see this little notch here this means timing is zero here what means that the motor should be should run with the same speed front and backwards uh, and uh, need the same or draw the same amp rating but in German rock roller forum we discuss quite a lot about those motors. Many people like them and use them mainly because of their cheap price. And a user, his nickname is Patpa Patrick from Germany, who's quite a specialist on motors, on brushed motors, found in his motor that the timing is not correct. He found that timing tuning is even not advanced as you would do it if you tune your car and want uh, the motor to run faster front in front direction and slower in rear or back direction he found that the timing in his motor is retarded so this scale is wrong in his motor and I will test this in my motor too in my surface hobby motor even before I change the plugs and before I do the break in and then I will try to adjust the motor to a correct timing of zero what is also the timing of this Holmes Hobbies motor. Both motors do have nearly the exact same specifications, so 12 turn motors, 550 brushed 5 slot motors, and the specifications of the motors say both, uh, the weight of both is about 215 gram. Okay, the surface does already come with wires, so let's check if that's correct. My tiny scale here is able to go up to 300 gram so this should be sufficient okay guys second take waiting the motors and now I will take my kitchen scale with uh, a glass surface and we will see surface hobby motor 200 and 23 grams with way with wires what's the weight of such a pair of 14 coach wires with 3.5 millimeter plugs about 9 grams so we are 214 grams so perfect and the Holmes Hobbies motor perfect 215 gram as written in the descriptions and what I learned now don't use a metal scale as my small tiny scale here if you weight motors with uh, strong magnets because they will give wrong results I thought uh, I thought the weight of the motor is much higher and both companies gave wrong data but that's not true after weighting the motors with this tiny scale I thought what's up the Holmes Hobbies motors is about 10 grams 
heavier than Holmes Hobby said and the Surpass Hobby motor is even nearly 20 grams heavier and good luck I checked the weight with my kitchen scale and found the weight is perfect so then I thought my tiny scale it's already broken it's really old and checked the weight with some items but it also measured the perfect weight and then I found it's the magnets of the motor must have been. check this out here we have 229 gram for the Holmes Hobbes motor now and correct weight is 215 116 gram and we have about about 250 gram I measured 245 gram or whatever with a without hands with a tiny scale but the correct weight is Two hundred twenty-one gram with wires. I did not know this. I learned something today. I thought this scale is broken. It's not. Check it with a normal twenty-nine point five grams, and here twenty-nine grams. So <laughs> funny thing. I learned something today. Maybe you learned something too. Do not use metal scales with magnets. What's funny? The Holden Service motor is heavier about 10 gram heavier 224 gram with the metal scale than in real but uh, the the surface hobby motor is much much heavier so it's more than 20 gram heavier I don't know what's the reason for this does the surface hobby motor have stronger magnets I hardly can believe this we will see how they perform both perfect weight as announced as written in the description. So now let's check the timing of the Surpass and the Holmes Hobbies motor. I soldered uh, 14 coach wires with 4 millimeter plugs to both motors now. Um, yeah, what is timing? I'm not a specialist in this all. You know, you can use motor timing for tuning your race motors. I'm not a racer either. But motor timing in general, it's the relationship between uh, the center of the motor brushes here inside and uh, with the center of the motor magnets. And if those are aligned, we call that timing zero degree. So you see the surface of the motor, you can adjust timing it should be set to zero degree now and you can adjust it to plus and minus 20 degree so if a motor has advanced timing that's to plus and if the motor has a retarded timing what you normally wouldn't do the motor has a minus degree zero degree means that the motor runs uh, forward and reverse uh, with the same speed so would also use the same amperage or draw the same amperage and uh, advanced timing means that the motor runs faster in forward and slower in rever reverse direction and if this motor does have zero timing as shown here but doubted by some guys from the forum who found different results it should uh, draw the same amps in forward and reverse direction and it also should uh, run with the same RPMs. It's easier for me to measure the amp draw and therefore I will use this small lab power supply where I can exactly adjust the voltage and will see the amp draw of the motor but it's only up to 5 amps so I can only use it for tests which do not need a lot of power and a lot of amps. However, forward direction means counterclockwise if you take a look from the front side of the motor and I will adjust the voltage here to, you see, 2 volts, low voltage, but that's not so important and go red, black, don't make a shortcut. 
Okay, and now let's see how much amp the motor draws. 2 volt it draws in forward direction about 1.15, 1.16 amps. And if the motor timing is zero, it should be the same amp draw in reverse direction and also the same RPMs. And now I changed the polarity. You see red to black and black to red. And again, let's try with 2 volt. <laughs> no. And you see, this motor also does not have zero timing. It draws 1.48, 1.5 amps in reverse direction. What would mean that uh, this motor timing is even retarded. So the motor should run faster. If it runs backwards, then it runs forwards. I don't know if we can hear the difference. There are some motor tachometers which uh, calculate the RPMs by sound, by frequency, but I do have one or even two on my smartphone, but I think they do not work well at all. Let's try again. This is normal forward direction. 1.13 amps, 1.14 amps. And let's change the direction again. Reverse. Uh, maybe it sounds a little bit higher, but I'm not sure. Higher frequency. But it draws 1.5 amps in reverse direction. So this means this motor is not set to timing zero and I will have to adjust this. As found by Patrick from German Rock Roller Forum, this is not correct. So the scale probably is not set to correct position. But let's check the Holmes Hobbies motor. I did already break in the Holmes Hobbies motor, but not the surplus motor. First I want to adjust timing. So the Holmes Hobbies motor in forward direction draws <laughs> less than one amp. Oh. 950 950 milliamp about 950 milliamps at 2 volt and now let's change the power plugs and let it run in reverse direction Nine hundred eight, nine hundred, nine hundred milliamp, about nine hundred milliamp too. So there's a little bit of a difference, but by far not as much as in the surplus hobby motor. But however, let's let's try it with four volt. I set the voltage now to four volts. And let's try it again. The Holmes Hobbies motor, 4 volts, 1.1 1. 1 amp, 1.08 amp, and reverse direction. Maybe 4 volt is fair because uh, we won't run this motor on 2 volt normally. And the reverse, don't shortcut. About the same. So its timing is nearly zero. You see 1.03 in reverse direction and one point zero seven in forward one point zero oh it's nearly perfect a little a uh, little bit eeny weeny teeny weeny advanced timing 1.06 so now I want to see this with 
higher. Let's go to 8 volt. What's about the 2S battery? Forward direction 1.26, 1 1.25 amp. Oh, 1.2 amp at 8 volt. Forward direction. And reverse the direction. 1.2. 1.19. So that's nearly perfect. Holmes Hobbies, thumbs up. Really, nearly perfectly zero timing in this motor. And let's check the surplus hobby motor with 8 volt also without shortcutting anything. So forward direction 8 volt. Wump, it throws more amps than the Holmes Hobbies motor. One point about 1.7, 1. 7, 1. Point 1.5 the amp throat decreases by time a little bit ok 1.50 in forward direction 1.50 and reverse direction 1.50 1.8, 1 1.8, 1.8, 1.8. So, this motor does not have a timing of zero, it's retarded. So, at 8 volts, it draws 0 0.3 amps more than in reverse direction than in forward direction. That's interesting. So, we have to adjust the timing. And how can we do this? Simply by turning the motor in one of those directions. I don't know in which direction now. Therefore I will have to open those two screws and find... Oh, that's easy, easy, easy. And now I'm able to turn the end of cap of the motor. And since the motor was retarded, I should go to where's plus and where's now? Okay. So let's try 10 degree. Let's try 10 degree on the scale and see if that's near zero degree. Ten degree forward direction, ten degree scale. Forward direction draws one point six amps. I thought exactly one point six amps. And reverse direction. One point three eight. So this was too much. I ten degree was I was even at nearly twelve, so let's go a little bit or maybe I should fix the screws again. Let's go to about five degrees scale so about five it's about six or seven degrees now so reverse direction one point five amp one point five amp nearly exactly one point five amp in reverse direction And now let's check. No, 
a shortcut in forward direction 1.4 so that was a little bit too much so I will go a little bit backwards so no maybe I'm maybe I'm at about four degrees now. About three, four degrees. Motor in forward direction. One point four, one point four, one point four amps. And now let's hope we find the sweet spot. We found the zero timing spot. One, no in reverse direction still draws a little bit more 1.5 so a tiny any little bit less no a little bit more so about six degrees now About six degrees, reverse direction, one point five, one point five, one, one point five, one. And in forward direction, come on. Make one point five one now. Okay. Still a little bit retarded. So let's go a little bit up. I wasn't at sixty kilo. little bit it's not that easy to do it in such small steps okay so now we have about I would say seven degrees or whatever forward direction 1.4 1 1.4 amps reverse direction 1 1.44 1 1.43 1. okay now we found the sweet spot this seems to be nearly exactly zero timing Okay, so I found this spot. I should mark it. So here at maybe it's eight degree, whatever. That's about the sweet spot with zero timing. So you see the scale given by the sticker is incorrect you should uh, have we should add about seven degrees and seven degrees is zero and zero degree is probably timing minus seven this motor is rebuildable so we probably could take a look inside and of course i will disassemble it I didn't. I do have a mark here now. That's nice. So I know how I do have 
to assemble it again, which side is which. If you turn the motor, the end cap, 180 degree, you will also turn the motor direction. Let's see how easy this is. Oh, seems to be... Check. Okay. The brushes... Oh, they are held by the springs. I have to remove the springs later. Seems to be quite nicely built inside. But... However, I'm not able to give a final judgment, but I can only say seems to be clean on this side and on that side. The windings, you see the five slots, one, one, two, three, four, five, what means And can we... Okay, that's held by this ring. And this ring... Has some openings here and some... Flaps here, so... Should be able to remove it. Yes! I hope I'll be able to do this to assemble the motor again. So, the inside of a Surpass Hobby 5 slot 550. I'm not as. F oh, there's still some. This is. No. Does it come out? John Holmes always shows this in his videos at. Uh, as if would be nothing. And I'm afraid to destroy the motor, but they... Okay. Okay. looks quite clean inside two magnets two large magnets what a pity we cannot disassemble the Holmes Hobbies motor and take a look inside too two large magnets and the starters one two this seems a little bit of trim weight Well, for those of you out out there, guys, who are professionals, who are, who are better than I am in this, how does this look like? The windings are... Hmm. I do not judge it. Now we've seen it. And I will try to assemble. I don't see any parts I would criticize with my non-professional knowledge, I guess some trim weights are quite normal. So it's in again and okay, next try. Yes, it's snapped. And now let's turn it. If it's. Mm. Okay. Seems to be okay. And now let's assemble the end piece again. It's here. Okay. Therefore, I will have to remove the brushes. So, 
uh, let's remove the springs. Spring one. It was that way. And spring two. Okay. And now should be able to pull out the brushes here, but it's not necessary to pull them out totally. Now let's find our marked spot that's here and here. Brushes go. Okay, zero timing. So here is our sweet spot with zero timing. And now let's try to Assemble the brushes again. Wait, as I assemble, mount the brushes again. This was easy. This was quite easy. And on the other side. Yes. Hope it still works. Let's check if timing is still zero and if it works. Okay, no shortcut. Still works. 1.5 and a little bit in forward direction and reverse direction. Guess I destroyed the motor. 1.8. What did I do? Again. Retarded timing. This is a strange thing. So I adjusted it a little bit more to the positive side again. And let's check it again. It's now about what the scale says about 9 degrees so in reverse direction 1.8 amp and in forward direction is this was on the wrong side 1.5 so 1.5 and a little bit forward direction and one point five a little bit the reverse direction. Okay. That's okay now. A tiny, eeny, eeny little bit retarded, but I think that's okay now. So, what has changed? Now the sweet spot is zero degree. Timing is nearly at 10 degree. 
whatever we should measure the let's measure the rpms those rpm meters for the smartphones don't work very well so let's this power supply is not able to deliver a lot of amps so let's try with my heli tacho this is an optical micro tacho cheap stuff but works quite nicely and i do have for those motors such a kind of propeller out of foam use safety glasses guys and let's check the rpm does it work yes this is a reverse direction direction at 3 volt ah, if it the motor has same speed so timing zero I think it could be interesting to measure the no load amp draw of the motors of the Holmes Hobbies 550 and the surplus Hobby 550 motor because in the previous test it seemed that the surplus Hobby 550 drew quite a little bit more amps than the Holmes Hobbies so I will it's very easy because the motors won't draw a lot of amps under no load and it's very easy to test with this tiny lab power supply and I will test it up to 3S so let's start with 1 volt and the Holmes Hobbies motor 0 .0 0 0.83 and with 2 volts 0 0.9 0 0.94 And three volts. You can hear the horn service motor does have a ventilator here and you can hear it and you can feel the air that it's blowing out on 9 volts only then let's go to 12.6 a full 3S battery Charging end voltage, not more, one point, thirty, oh, also one point thirty six, and let's finish with thirteen volt, but probably we won't use. 
one point one point okay now there was a step upward probably that's a thing with the heat so on 13 volt the amp draw increased after some time what's now okay seems to be a little bit higher one point let's say one point fifty amps okay same test with the surplus hobby crawler 550 12t motor one volt Six volt one point forty three, but much more consistent. There is nearly no up and down seven volts. So seems to have more vibrations than the Holmes of his motor which was calm all the time. Come on. But there seem to be more vibrations than in the Holmes of his motor that runs much calmer. Okay, so I will make a chart, but so far I can say the surplus motor draws quite a lot, quite a little bit. <coughs> well, and since I do already have the setup, I think it would be interesting to also test a three slot motor or three slot motors and let's test the Holmes Hobbies 540 with 27T three slot Trailmaster Sport and let's test as one of those super cheap Chinese motors I paid I don't know eight bucks or ten bucks less than ten bucks for this motor a 35T motor rebuildable didn't check for the timing so let's check those motors too only to compare them to the 550 five slot motors so 540 three slot amp draw at no load compared to and I don't want to have a shortcut here so Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport 27T one volt uh, one point zero six amps much more than the five fifty. <laughs> And 13 volts. 1 1.75 1.74 1.74 Okay, and finally let's also test the super cheap motor
Okay, super cheap China motor. One volt. Zero point eight seven. And not rated thirteen volt. So a lot of quite a lot of vibrations. One point. 12. And here on this graph you can see the amp draw of the four motors tested on different voltages and you see the blue line, the F50 surplus hobby, 5 slot 12T motor drew quite a lot of more amps than the red line was the Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Sport 550 12T motor and the green line is the 540 3 slot 27T Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport it also drew quite a lot of amps and the cheap China 540 motor drew less amps than all the other motors I want to test RPMs and amp draw under load and I thought quite a lot about the setup I could do um, to determine those values I found I don't really like the smartphone apps for uh, the heli tachometer or whatever that use um, sound and the frequency to determine uh, the RPMs because I found those are not really consistent and they are not really good so I will use my Heli Tacho that's an optical RPM meter I do already have for many years for my helicopter and it works quite nicely but only under daylight but actually we can use it with LED lights too so I will have to switch on the LED light and then it will work quite nicely and I had to find a kind of propeller to test the RPMs and this was not so easy either um, I used this that's a kind of that's for polishing your nails or it's not for polishing my nails I even bought it from Hobby King it's for polishing uh, your car bodies uh, after painting or after sanding and to fix it on the 3.175 millimeter shaft was not that easy I don't have any spinner 3.1 millimeter I only have smaller ones and only gluing this uh, it's a kind of foam uh, to the shaft didn't work it always fell off so finally I drilled a hole into the file and glued a pinion into it and this works really nice now but this setup draws quite a lot of amp and my small lab power supply will switch off already at 3 or 4 volts so I cannot use this because it's only up to 5 amps I also tried this really nice uh, Chargery S400 because it uh, has adjustable voltage from 6 volts up to 15 volts but I found it's also too weak at 8-9 volts it's shut off the larger one the S600 I do have two it starts at 10 volt that's <laughs> too fast here and so I finally found okay I will use and test it with lipos with 2 and 3 cell lipos and will use uh, a Hobbywing 1080 and a servo tester instead of a receiver to adjust the voltage and this works quite nicely so far and 
between uh, battery and uh, speed controller uh, I switched this old Hobby King Watt meter and I can read the amperage, amperage. Uh, so the amp draw of the motor is this unfortunately I cannot put it on the other side of the between motor and ESC because it needs 7 volts or 7.2 volts to work however it's not very not a very good instrument I think uh, voltage reading are not very accurate so I checked it with my that's quite a okay voltmeter not a cheapo all my battery checker I have several ones are quite accurate and uh, show the same voltage as this toolcraft does but the Hobby King one shows a little bit less mostly at least in the highest voltages but I will read the amperage from the HK010 we do not need necessarily the correct absolute values but uh, it's the same setup so I will test four motors for different motors and for comparative purposes that's okay but I also found that the voltage that's coming into the speed controller is not the voltage that comes to the motor so if you don't put the motor or don't switch a plug, plug a motor or couple a motor to the speed controller the speed controller on full power will show the battery voltage but if there is a motor so there is always a voltage drop so that that's why I wanted to know what voltage comes into the motor and therefore I plugged the multimeter simply to the motor wires and so I can read the voltage that's coming into the motor so when doing this I will read and I will make a nice setup so that everything should be uh, visible on camera so I will have to read the amp draw, the voltage that comes into the motor and the RPM and I will start with and I will use the voltage shown on the multimeter and start as before with 1, 2 volt up to the maximum voltage I can get and uh, I don't know how much it will be unfortunately I do have some really good 4S batteries for my helicopters but the Hobby King 1080 is only working up to 3S and uh, 4S will not work so I will test with those 3S batteries LiPos we will see how it works and I will test with 2S I don't know if there will be a difference in the lower voltages and I did already test it and I found even on 3S uh, it will stop at maybe 9 or 10 volts that come to the motor and the amp draw will be quite high already more than 30 amps so that's why even my power supplies won't work so this will work that way it's not important which battery uh, which servo tester you use all of them work so there is this 3S battery is plugged in you see the voltage here I will 11.3 volt okay 11.3 volt it shows 2 the motor does not get any voltage and then I will switch on this setup of course I will fix this and of course even if it's a kind of home I will wear safety glasses so I will That's the way it will work and then I will measure the RPMs. So we will see how this works. So here we see the voltage the motor gets and I did already test it before. It will only go up to even with 3S up to about 9 volts. And then the speed controller shuts off too. So however 2S and 3S I will test with those four motors 550 surplus 5 slot motor 2S full battery 8.43 
Wow. Seven volt, three thousand four hundred four point two M. Three volt. Three volt. Two thousand nine hundred. 2.7 amps. Two volt. Two volt, one thousand nine hundred, two thousand, one thousand nine hundred eighty one amp, and one volt, zero point two amps. And one thousand one hundred, one thousand one hundred Surpass Hobby five fifty on three S full three S battery with uh, twelve point six volt.
Forgot the light and nine volts. Five thousand nine hundred and sixty. Don't forget the light for the meter and eight point four volt. And eight volt. And seven point four volt. Difficult to adjust. Okay, <laughs> about nine hundred, one thousand and forty, and zero point one M. Motor is. Hmm. Seventy one point nine degree against fifty six fifty one. Sixty six degree sixty five degree. So motor sixty to seventy degree running warm but not very good. Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Sport 550 5 slot on a full 2S battery 8.43 volt and light 2S. Seven volt. Seven volt. Five 
Six volt. Seven volt. One volt nine hundred forty zero point one M Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport five fifty three S full three S battery twelve point six volt light.
8 volt. Seven point four. One volt, nine hundred and one thousand, nine hundred eighty, one thousand, one thousand and zero amp, zero amp. Temperature. Hmm. Oh, it seems significantly cooler than the surface hobby motor. It's extremely. It's much, much cooler than the surplus motor. The home service motor, I don't have any problems to touch it. It's only barely warm. Wow. So, 43, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, 43 degree Celsius, of course, 45. 43, 42, uh, here it's a little bit warmer, 49 degrees Celsius, uh, the surplus hobby motor was nearly 70 degree and I didn't measure it in the top, I could barely touch it, so stays much cooler the Holmes hobby motor. Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport 2017 3 turn full 2S battery 8.44 volt Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport 2017 540 3S full battery. <laughs> Five forty thirty five T three slot China motor on two S battery full eight point four volts. <laughs> China 540 35T motor CP 1500 mA <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
And on this graph you can see the amp draw and the rounds per minute of the motors at different voltages. The y-axis on the right side shows the amp, the amp draw, the y-axis on the left side the rounds per minute and on the x-axis uh, the corresponding volts. And that's the Surpass 555 slot 12T motor on 2S and let's compare it to the same motor on 3S and what we see here is that the motor draws more amps on 2S than on 3S at the same voltage. The reason for this could be that I used uh, a only 1500 mAh 3S battery with only 30C what has been rather old for the 3S tests and the rather new 4000 milliamp 2S battery with 25 or 30 C so a larger battery can deliver more that's not only a cause of the C rating but also of the amp hour rating of the battery let's check the Holmes Hobbies 550 motor the 5 slot 12T 550 motor here on 2S the dotted line is the amp draw the straight full line is the rounds per minute or are the rounds per minute at the different voltages and what we see if we compare it here 2S to 3S the same thing it seems or it does draw more amps at the same voltage with the large 2S 4000 milliamp battery than probably the smaller 3S battery can deliver. And what we are mostly interested in, let's compare the 5 slot Holmes Hobbies motor to the 5 slot Surpass Hobby motor, the 550 motors. So here you can see this, the red and orange lines are the Holmes Hobbies motor and the blue lines, bluish lines are the surplus hobby motor and what we see is that the surplus hobby motor draws a little bit more amp than the Holmes Hobbies motor or draws more amps than the Holmes Hobbies motor at the same voltage but uh, the Holmes Hobbies motor does turn faster does have higher RPM at the same voltage it's not extremely much or a extreme big difference but there is a difference and of course I also tested the 2540 motors and here let's check the Holmes Hobbies 540 the Trailmaster Sport with 3 slot motor with 27T here on 2S and on 3S you see the rounds per minute are nearly equal but uh, the amp draw is much higher with the 2S battery than it is with the small 3S battery and let's see the super cheap China motor here in yellow dotted line amp draw right Y axis and RPM left Y axis and let's compare it 2S and 3S and in this motor there's a rather big difference between 2S and 3S I'm not totally sure if those motors are rated for 3S and finally let's compare all the motors a little bit of chaos here that's the amp draw on 2S of all of the motors and what you see the dark dotted line the motor that draws more amps than all the others that's the 540 2017T motor the Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport and the three other motors show on 2S more or less equal amp draw and on 3S it's the same thing the Holmes Hobbies 550 the 5 slot shows lowest amp draw and the 540 Holmes 2070 shows highest amp draw and 
here now the RPMs of all four motors on 2S and compared on 3S and what's a surprise you would expect the 2070 543 slot motor would show the highest RPMs but that's not the fact uh, the 550 5 slot Holmes Hobbies motor shows highest RPMs and the 2070 motor shows very similar results as the 35T super cheap China motor does. Surplus 550 12T 5 slot 2S 4000 million. Six point something fifty two amp. Second try. Five point seven forty nine amp. Five point six forty nine amp surplus five fifty five slot twelve T two S five thousand milliamp seven point something fifty three amp and smoke. Second try. 5.748 amp. Third try. Six point four fifty two amp. Surplus five fifty three thousand milliamp three S. Six point nine sixty two amp. Six point seven fifty six amp six point four fifty five amp surplus five fifty three S one thousand five hundred milliamp. Six point eight fifty six amp. Six point three fifty five amp. Six point three fifty four amp. Holmes Hobbies five fifty twelve T five slot. Four thousand milliamp two S six eight point nine and fifty three amp nine point one kilogram fifty one amp.
8.1 kilogram 48 amp. Holmes Hobby is 550, 5 slot, 12 turn on 5000 milliamp hours 2S battery. Ten point four and fifty five amp. Second try. Seven point seven kilogram fifty six amp. Eight point five fifty seven amp Holmes Hobbies five fifty five slot twelve T three S three thousand milliamp hours. Nine point seven and sixty four amp nine point seven kilograms and smoke and sixty four amp. Mm, not very hot. Second try. Eight point seven sixty two amp smoke. Third try. Eight nine point five fifty four amp and smoke. Holmes Hobbies five fifty five slot twelve turn on three S one thousand five hundred milliamp. Hours eight point nine fifty five amp smoke eight point eight fifty five amp smoke third trial. 8.457 amp smoke. Smoke. Temperature of the Holmes Hobby is 550 is 63. not very hot. 63 degrees Celsius, 64, 65, so not really hot. Holmes Hobbies. 540 2070s 2S 4000 mAh 6.5 and 56 amp second try now it's not strong anymore wow 5.253 amp third try 4 and 44 amp 4.2 and 40 amp only now Holmes Hobbies 540 Trailmaster Sport 2070 5000 milliamp S battery seven point two and nine point one and sixty amp third try it smells already. <coughs> Break down Wow The Holmes Hobbies broke my rope which should hold sixty kilograms. Let's repair. <laughs> 
Okay, next try I guess it was the 40 pound, not kilogram rope I had used. So 20 kilogram and this is now 60 pound rope. Third try, Holmes Hobbies 27T 540 motor 2S 5000 milliamp battery. Oh, it's weak, but 53 amp and 5 point something kilograms. And it's smelling bad. Holmes Hobbies 540 27T on 3S 3000 milliamps. Four point nine and sixty five amp, that's not good. Four point six forty three amp. Six point one fifty eight amp and smoking Holmes Hobbies motor. Holmes Hobbies five forty twenty seven on three S one thousand five hundred milliamps. Four point seven six sixty three amp. Four point one sixty one M last try four point two fifty seven wow four point two fifty seven and a lot of smoke it's not so hot About 80 degrees Celsius. 85. China 540 35T, 4000 milliamp 2S battery. First try. 5.9 and 47 amp. 2nd try. 5.6 and 42 amp and third try 5.4 and 41 amp China 540 35T 2S 5000 milliamp Six point two kilogram forty two point M second try five point nine kilogram thirty eight M already smoking third try 49 amp 5.6 kilogram and smoking motor China 540 35T 3S 3000 milliamp 5.8 and 52 amp 5.8 52 amp 4.2 and 52 amp, 4.2 and 52 amp, 5.3 and 44 amp, oh, and a lot of motor smoking, 3S 1500 milliamp, China 540 35T. Seven point four kilogram and thirty eight amp. Seven point seven kilogram and fifty four amp. Seven 
7.0 and 52 amp. And here you can see the results of these pull tests with the scale in a chart. On the left side in yellow the Jeep China 543 slot 35T motor, in green the Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport 540 motor with 27T, in blue the Surpass Hobby Crawler motor 5 slot 550 with 12T and in red and orange the Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Sport 5 slot 550 with 12T. On the left side you always see the results of the scale, how much kilograms the motors could pull and on the right side uh, the amp draw and left the results with the 2S tests that's the mean of the six single tests and on the right the results of the 3S tests the mean of the six tests and the arrow bar shows the standard error and the X shows the single highest value or result I got with this motor and with this S and what you can see the absolute highest amp draw showed on a single test the 540 Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport motor on 3S with uh, more than 60 amps and the Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Sport the 555 slot 12T motor was by far the strongest you can see it uh, pulled about 9 kilograms in average with 2S batteries and a little bit more with 3S batteries. The highest results in a single pull test also showed the 550 Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Sport um, with a 2S battery and the Holmes Hobbies 540 Trailmaster Sport 27D was the weakest of those motors but uh, what's a surprise the super cheap 540 china motor was not that weak if you compare it to the surplus hobby scroller motor 5 slot 550 the results are similar however in those tests the holmes hobby scroll master sport 550 5 slot 12t won clearly and the biggest surprise for sure was the super cheap China motor it was not that bad and the biggest disappointment probably was the Holmes Hobbies 540 Trailmaster Sport 3 slot motor and to be honest I didn't expect such a big difference between the two 5 slot 550 crawler motors between the Surpass Hobby in blue and the Holmes Hobbies in red and orange the Holmes Hobbies and the Surpass Hobby drew about the same amps but the Holmes Hobbies motor was clearly much stronger. For the indoor run tests I will use uh, the motors with this uh, and mount them into this really Freeman kit chassis and I will use a Hobbywing 1080 ESC and I mounted a Flysky Noble receiver to the chassis. Normally I would use my beloved Flysky GT3C 8 channel but I guess because I want to test the response of the motors the Flysky Noble is the better choice for this. The speed controller the Hobbywing 1080 is programmed to some special values I also wouldn't use normally when running this car uh, 0.4 that's the initial start force I put to number 9 with a program card that's 16% that's the maximum and 0.5 that's uh, maximum forward force is also put to 0.4 maximum 0.9 drag brake of course is put to 100% now don't know if I will use this 100% when running the car normally and drag brake rate 0.10 on the program card is also put to maximum level 9 I also want to test uh, when the motor starts to respond and therefore I have put number 11 on the hobby wing neutral range to 0.1 what 0 0.02 milliseconds that's also why I use the Flysky Noble 
and not that GT3C here and startup mode punch that's point 12 on the program card I also put to maximum level that's level 9.9 .9. the car or the chassis is quite light without bumpers and uh, without uh, body of course and therefore I put some weights to the car so I used those weights we normally use for uh, wheel weights for example and I put the 600 grams 10 pieces to the back side and 360 grams 6 pieces to the front and therefore this chassis does now have 3.3 kilogram Let's sit here oh 3.4 kilogram so that's the weight of an average scale crawler I would say of course it's not a very heavy one but also not a super light one and I will use a 2S battery 5000 milliamp 2S battery for those tests surplus 550 initial start force Hobbywing 1089 trim 2 4 6 8 10 8 6 2 4 6 8 10 8 6 Holmes Hobbies 550 Crawlmaster Sport 5 slot 12T Start Force 9 16, 18, 20 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, stops at 28, 18, 20, 24, 28, 30, 32, runs at 30, stops at 28. Holmes Hobbies 540, Trailmaster Sport, 3 slot 27T, Start Force 9, 10, 20, 26, 28, 30, 32, 26, 28, 30, 32, starts with 32, runs with 30, Stops with 28. China 35T Start Force 9. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 26, 30. 10, 20, 30, climb, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 8, Holmes Hobbies 550, Crawlmaster Sport 5 slot 12T. 10, 12, 14, 16, 
20, 32. Thirty, thirty-two, and climbs it with thirty-two. Holmes Hobbies, Trailmaster Sport five forty three slot twenty seven T. Twenty four six eight thirty thirty two start, and thirty four six eight forty thirty two. 50, 34, 6, 72, 4, 76. China 35D, start force 9. 34, 6, 8, 34, 20, 30, 44, 20, 30, 40. Surplus 550, initial start force 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Forty-six, 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 forty-six,
40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 48, 46, 44, 42, 40, 38, still going, 36, 34. Holmes Hobby Scroll Master Sport 550 5 slot 12T. Thirty, thirty-two. Starts to climb with thirty-two and continues to climb. Thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, fifty-eight. Starts to climb with fifty-eight. Continues to climb with 56 and 54, 52, 50. Continues to climb with 50. 32. Forty, forty four, fifty, fifty two, fifty eight, starts to climb with fifty eight, fifty six, fifty four, fifty two, still climbs, fifty, forty eight, forty six. Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport five forty three slot twenty seven T. Start for us nine. Thirty two. Seventy. One hundred, two, four. 106 keeps climbing 1412 100 32 76 One hundred, one hundred, keeps climbing, ninety-four, ninety-two, ninety, eighty-eight, eighty-six, eighty-four, eighty-two. Thirty-two, seventy-two. 100, 102, 198, 6, 4, 86, kept climbing till 86. China, 35T, start force 9. 30, 38, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 30, 32, 4, 44, 
fifty. Sixty, seventy, eighty six, and here you can see the results of those start tests on the flat surface start and stop on the small hill and on the 45 degree incline and you see that the surpass 550 12d crawler motor won clearly in this category on the flat surface and on the hill and also on the 45 degree incline and you also see that the 540 motors both clearly were worse in startup behavior on the 45 degree incline but the super cheap 35T 540 China motor was clearly better than the 540 2070T Holmes Trailmaster Sport motor on the 45 degree incline. So here's clear result. Number one, Surpass 550 12T crawler motor. Number two, Holmes 550 12T crawler motor. Number three, China 540 35T motor. And last, the Holmes 540 2070 Trailmaster Sport. Drag brake test. Motor is disconnected, wire loose, doesn't say a lot. Check the strength of the magnets. But if the motor is disconnected and the wires are short cut, this shows 100% drag brake the motor can give or bring and that's the surplus 5 slot 550 and it's going down the 100% incline slowly the Holmes hobby is 5 slot 550 12T also will not stop on the incline go down slowly but significantly slower than the surplus 550 5 slot so the Holmes has a stronger drag brake than the Surplus 550. But the three slot motors will have stronger brake drag brakes than five slot motors. The Holmes 540 three slot 2070 stops and with a little push it goes down very slowly. But with shortcut wires it can stop and the car stands still on 45 degrees the 35T 540 3 slot super cheap China motor has by far the strongest drag brake force the China motor has no problem to stop the car on the 45 degree incline And now with ESC, 100% drag brake on drag brake, the Hobbywing 1080. Drag brake 100%. Surpass 5 slot 550. Does not stop, but is easy to stop. With a little bit of goes trouble. down slowly. Will not stop. This is full drag brake. Surpass 555 slot. Drag brake. Does not stop. The Holmes 555 slot. And I can't stop it. Also is not able to stop the car. Will go down slowly, significantly slower as the Surpass 550. Drag brake. And with a little bit of throttle stop is possible, but with, without throttle, without throttle not. 
Drag brake does not stop. F540 it. three slot 27 T Holmes Hobbies Trail Master Sport. Even if you will not stop with ESC, even if you try to stop it, it will not stop as it did with the super cheap China. motor and in this drag brake test and the 35T China motor clearly crawls smoother so I can't go as slow as I can go with the 35T540 China motor And in this drag brake test, the super cheap drag brake, drag brake is sufficient to stop the super cheap China motor drag brake three slot 35 tier. 35 T is the clear winner. Drag Always brake. will stop the 3.4 kilogram car. No problem. Drag brake and here it rolls down. Drag brake now does but not stop, but with a little throttle you can stop the car only by drag brake. First China 540, second Holmes 540, third Holmes 550 and last Serpus 550. Surpass 550, Hobby Wing 1080, initial startup force 1, lowest. It's not that easy to compare the smoothness, the running behavior of the motors to be objective, to measure something. The Surpass Hobby 555 slot does really well. Smooth response, smooth crawling. Also a little bit of punch if needed. Stopping is always possible. This is full drag brake, surplus 555 slot, and this is minimum speed. Can go very, very slow. Cheap China tires. So for sure not a bad choice for the price. Forty five degree incline. Slow and Ah. Holmes Hobby Scroll Master Sport 550 5 slot 12T Start Force 1 as slow as I can go. Guess. Hold. 
However, in this category, if you want to call it category, the Holmes Hobby Scroll Master Sport 550, 5 slot 12T, in my opinion, clearly outperforms the Surface Hobby 550, 5 slot 12T motor. Drag brake does not stop. And I can't stop it. Stronger track brake than the Surplus 550. However, start no problem. Break break. And extremely smooth climbing is possible. However, track brake is better in the three slot motors. 540 motors. Smoother than all the others tested in this video. Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport 540 3 slot 27T Start Force 1. And only for crawling smoothness. Slow speed, the 540 Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport is the clear loser of those four motors. You can see it here. Drag brake does not stop it, but it seems to have more punch also on plain surface. China 35T start force 1. And the cheap China motor does not bad. Of course, the 555 slot motors do outperform it, but therefore is a, it has a better drag brake, stronger drag brake. Drag brake. Really outperforms the 540 Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport 2070 if it's on crawling performance, slow, low speed performance. Drag brake, the 2070. The 2070 543 slot Holmes. Is probably the better choice is if you also wanna bash a little bit. But the China 540 is a big surprise in this test. So finally, I will come to the end of this video. I know, guys, I'm sorry. This video is much too long I wonder if somebody is still watching if yes please write a comment I will give you a thumbs up for this 
but I have to change this in future videos such as this with far more than two hours are too long. So compare those 550 five slot crawler motors on the bench inside as much as I could do and I guess it was a quite interesting comparison. What I did forget to mention is that the Holmes Hobbies 550 Crawlmaster Sport does come with a fan inside so that's probably the reason why it stays much cooler than the Surplus Hobby and the Holmes Hobbies motor also the 540 Holmes Hobbies motor does come with a shorter shaft than the Surplus Hobby and the China motor I don't know if it's positive or negative in my case here this was rather negative because the shaft is a little bit too short for those kind of pinions you see there's uh, about one millimeter left it's not a big deal probably also in my car you can see this here now so there is a it's a little bit too short so one millimeter more length of the shaft would better but I also know that other people complain about those long shafts because in some trucks the shafts are too long for about one millimeter so I won't count this as negative or positive I only want to mention it and what's the final comparison I will finally make a short summary Let's start with price and availability. Price is about equal, but I paid less for the Surplus Hobby motor, but it's depending where you live. Availability of the Surplus Hobby motor, in my opinion, is much better worldwide, outside of the USA. You can get it on nearly all China shops, on Banggood, AliExpress, probably eBay. And the availability of the Holmes Hobby Trailmaster Sport, Crawlmaster Sport, is not that good they are often out of stock and they are quite hard to get outside of the usa so i give this point to the surplus hobby 550 crawler motor 12t the packing there is no question packing and what you get is much better in the surplus hobby it comes packed in a nice little box uh, safe secured it comes with wires and plugs however they are 3.5 millimeter plugs and the Holmes Hobbies motor comes only packed in a plastic bag without wires and one of those tabs was bent outside but I'm not sure anymore if this is not on purpose because check this I bought also two Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Sport 540, 20T and 16T some month ago and on those also both negative black tabs are bent inside here so on this motor and on that motor tab on the black side bent inwards maybe some one of you knows if that's on purpose or not anyhow it's not a big deal and then let's make a point of adjustability and maintenance and build quality well build quality that's a hard one i would give it to the surplus because it comes with ball bearings front and rear side and it looks quite well built and shiny and the holmes hobbies the Crawlmaster Sport only does come with one bearing and yeah it doesn't look that nice and then we have the adjustability this clearly is won by the surplus too because you can change the motor brushes so maintenance if you want and you can adjust the timing however the motor arrived with timing way off so that's a negative point and build quality inside we cannot compare as we saw the surplus hobby motor showed a lot more vibrations than the holmes hobby's motor 
so that's hard to judge I will give it to the surplus anyway because even if the timing was way off if you like to tinker around and to test that's maybe a point that's important for you and with the home service motor you can't do anything you can only use it as you get it however timing was nearly spot on zero so really really good and no vibrations and further points I found a point I'll call it amp draw and connected to amp draw of course is runtime I didn't test the runtime but the amp draw and the Holmes Hobbies motor always showed lower amp draw, significantly lower sometimes than the surplus hobby motor. So that goes to the Holmes Hobbies motor. There was a point like constancy of amp draw. You saw this when I made the no load tests. Strangely, this was clearly won by the surplus hobby motor because it was quite easy to read the amp draw while the amp draw of the 550 Holmes Hobbies motor was always oscillating. RPM Holmes. Temperature clearly won by the Holmes Hobbies motor. It stayed much cooler than the surplus hobby 550, so. That's an important point, clearly won by Holmes or his motor. Vibrations, clearly won. You saw no load tests, it was no problem for me to check it and the motor was here without any uh, fixing and the surface of the motor showed vibrations and tried to get away. Power, clearly won by the Holmes Hobbies motor. This was the biggest surprise for me. Remember the scale tests, the tests with the scale. The Holmes Hobbies was much stronger and the amp draw at those tests was nearly equal. And in the run tests, the startup response was clearly won by the Surface Hobby 550. So it started much faster with less throttle input than the Holmes Hobbies 550. However, next point, drag brake was clearly won by the Holmes Hobbies 550 compared to the Surpass 555 slot, but uh, the three slot 540 motors were better than both of those five slot 550 motors. And finally, not very objective but the smoothness in running and in my opinion remember the last tests this was also clearly won by the Holmes Hobbies motor compared to the Surface Hobby 550 motor so it's on you if you like to adjust and test and change the settings in your car maybe the Surface Hobby motor is your motor of choice you can adjust timing you can change brushes but if you are only on the search for a budget cheap 555 slot motor that shows really really good running behavior and if only driving and running behavior is important for you as probably is for most of us then the Holmes Hobbies motor will probably be your motor of choice so that's now really the end of this ultra long video. I hope I could give you a little bit of information. If you are still here, I don't have to say watch the short version of the video. I uploaded it already before I uploaded this ultra long video. I intend to make a similar video, test video of 540 five slot brushed crawler motors because I do have the Holmes Hobbies Crawl Master Sport 540s 5 slot here 16 and 20 teeth and I do have the 16 and 20 tooth or teeth Surpass Hobby Crawler 540 motor here so similar comparison and Recently, I received the very new 
rocket or surplus plus motors. Those are much more expensive, nearly three times the price of the 540 uh, normal surplus hobby or or the Holmes Hobby Scroll Master Sport motor, but they look awesome and I'm really interested how they will do. And so I will make a similar video as this one. I hope I can pack all the information in maybe 20 minutes because two hours videos are not very popular here. And so watch out for this video. I hope it will be up soon and it won't take me as much time as this 550 video I did already start but I guess at Christmas time and now it's June hmm. but now that's really the end of this ultra long video if you are still here thanks thanks really thanks a lot for watching <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video I'll be back